Hello everyone, welcome back to Porky's Collectibles. I'm Jason and this is Porky. Before we get to our topic today, just want to let everyone know that at the end of the video, we will announce the winner of our first Instagram giveaway. If you would like to enter future giveaways, follow us at Porky's underscore collectibles on Instagram. Now let's get to our topic today, how to store your Pokemon cards and which kind of binder you should use. Now I know there's other methods to store your cards, but today we will solely focus on binders only. Now there are different types of binders. I'm gonna go over which ones to use, um, the pros and cons of each kind of binder. And um, you decide at the very end which binder you think is, works best for you. Now we're gonna start off this binder here. This is a very old style binder. This is the most common style binder you saw back in the day. You've probably seen them in schools. This is a O-ring binder. Now when I say O-ring, I'm talking about this right here. That ring, you can see right there, it's a O. Now, this is probably the worst binder you can use in the sense that it leaves dents in your cards. The reason why, because these rings, when you lay them flat, you see right here how the cards at the bottom um, kind of make a weird shape to it. So when you lay them flat like this over time, um, the cards are on top of the rings and they cause issue because eventually they leave dents on the bottom of the cards. Um, usually what happens most likely is down on the very bottoms here, there will be dents from it. Now, um, if you're gonna just collect casually, that's not a problem, but I highly recommend that if you want to degrade things, um, those can actually be really bad. It will bring your grade down really harshly. So I recommend not using this kind of binder. Another thing is that these are top loading binders. So you have to put your cards from the top down, uh, which is great to put them in the first time, but if you were to storm and dust gets in or um, you know other things get into the uh, binders, these sleeves inside will cause these kind of holographic cards to scratch since these ones, um, the cards don't fit in very snugly and if you were to take them out back and forth, that would cause issue. Another thing is the pros for this, I would say would be that you can see both sides of the cards so you can tell the conditions a little bit better a little bit easier to um, determine which cards you have that are in mint condition or play condition. Next, we have another very common binder. The only difference between this binder and the other binder is that instead of O-rings, we have D-rings. Now, when I say D-rings, I'm talking about right here. You see how right there, that's a flat instead of an O. This, this is so it won't cause issue down the line. When you lay them flat, all the cards lay perfectly flat so they won't cause that weird groove or um, arc which causes the cards to lay on top of the ring which will cause the dents. Um, this one's an upgrade compared to the other one. The only good side is that it does that. Everything else where you load it from the top and there's dust and you can't fit sleeves inside of it. When I say you can't fit sleeves, these kind of binders, you could try to fit these in here. They're very snug. I don't like doing them. I see people do it. If you put them for too long, they start warping. I don't recommend it. They're not meant for these. So that's another downside to this kind of binder. All right, moving on to the next kind of binder. We've seen these kind of four pocket binders. This is a very iconic binder very standard too. This one is better in the sense it doesn't have the rings, so definitely better already. Once again, it is another top loading binder, so you do have to put the cards in like this. So if you were to remove the cards or put the cards in, you have to do it like this. Uh, once again, another issue of this is that top loading, you can get dust inside, scratch the cards up, and also you can't put sleeves in. Uh, you can try, if you try to fit a penny sleeve in here, it doesn't fit, it gets crushed, you see it gets bent, it just doesn't work properly. If you get a tighter, more uh, well-fit sleeve, you can try to put them in, 
but you see how it's kind of difficult to put in. If you try to stick all your cards like this, eventually it'll cause warping, so I highly recommend against this. Now, the next kind of binder I want to go over is probably the binder that I recommend for most casual collectors or, you know, other collectors as well. Um, these are the Ultra Pro binders. I highly recommend these. Um, they retail for $19.99. Um, you can probably buy your, your card stores. They're in stock. They come in different colors that you can choose from. Um, I recommend these because, first off, once again, no ring, but this one's better. They're not top loading. These are side loading ones. Let me show you what I mean by side loading. Let's remove this dark Gengar. So top loading, you put them on the top, side loading like very obviously, you load them from the side. The benefits of this is they don't fall out if you were to hold the binder the wrong way. Also less likely to get dust in. Dust usually comes in from the top or bottom. These are side loading, so even if you wanted to get dust in, it'd be a little bit more difficult. Now, one real big upgrade would be that you can actually put penny sleeves or your sleeves in here for added protection. Now this was made from Ultra Pro. Now um, they work really well with these ones right here. The Ultra Pro, these penny sleeves are really nice. Uh, I got these from a local card store for $1.99. Fairly cheap for a hundred of them. I recommend this because this is made specifically for this. You can go ahead, take them, put them in. They're nice and snug, but without being too tight. You just push them in here and then like that, and they're nice and snug, and um, no dust can get in. Once they're in the penny sleeves, they're less likely to shift around or scratch, so this is probably the best method. The only really downside to it, in my opinion, is that you can't really see the card condition unless you take them out, but then again, the upside is you can store more cards. Uh, they're double-sided, so for this binder here, I believe you can store around 360 cards. Now, if you're really concerned about your, the security or how safe your cards are, you're really concerned about the condition of your cards, I recommend getting this kind of binder. Now, this kind of binder is a top loading binder, not the same, not to be confused with the top loading binders I was talking about earlier. When I say top loading, I mean you use these top loadings right here. These ones go straight into the top loading binder these are top loaders these are very standard everyone uses them very common um, also from ultra pro really easy you put your penny sleeves or your sleeves or dragon shields whatever you want to put them in there and then they fit in here these are really nice because they add an extra protection because they're nice and sturdy instead of something that let's say uh, let me grab a grab a card something like this where if you were to bend it scuff it up a little bit more likely to damage it so this being more rigid this is better now this binder is great is because first off this, even though this has rings well this binder is really great because these are the d-ring ones and also you're putting in these specific sleeves that hold top loaders so these are the most secure um, you have your penny sleeves you have your top loaders then you have in in your nine pocket ring binder that I like this one because this one is nice and sturdy, um, hard, not a soft one like the plastic one that I showed you before. These ones retail for about $50, uh, what I've seen. I highly recommend this for higher end cards. Um, I don't have as many in here because I'm trying to sort it, but you can tell that these are the kind of cards you want to put in there. I recommend this kind of binder. And um, if you have any other questions, um, hit me up in uh, Instagram. You guys can comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about the binders that I showed today. If you have any other questions or if you think that you know of a better way to store in a binder, comment down below. Right now, we're going to actually shift gears over to our first Instagram giveaway winner. We're gonna do a random drawing for them and we're gonna go ahead and see who wins this. So for our first Instagram giveaway, 
participants get to choose three cards they like, and the winner gets to keep the three cards. And so for our first giveaway, the winner is the Bahanas. Congratulations! He chose Pikachu, Jolteon, and Gyarados. Once again, congratulations, and I'll be messaging you through Instagram directly. Look forward to that soon. Thank you to all that participated in the giveaway and look forward to bigger, better giveaways on Instagram and on our YouTube channel in the near future. Please like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you all next time.